I'll speak to you to know that caption be fruitful. Then God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the heart and subdue it. Have dominion over the fishes of the sea, over the bears of the air, and over every living thing. And over every living thing. That moves on the heart. Tonight I will speak to you on the caption, be fruitful. I'd like you to know that everything that has capacity to be fruitful is what to multiply. The Bible does not make a mistake here. It said, be fruitful and what? And multiply. It takes one that has enjoyed a realm in fruitfulness to multiply. I'm going to give you scriptural meaning of uh, fruitfulness. Maybe three or four and then I'll leave you a little bit to pray and then we'll be on our way home. When God is saying to man, be fruitful. It means man has all the potentials to bring forth fruitfulness. God did not look at a chia and say, chia, be fruitful. Hallelujah. God never looked at a chia and said, a chia, be what? Be fruitful. No. It spoke to man man that he has enabled with the potential of fruitfulness i like us to know that everyone that uh, is made of God has the potential to bring forth fruitfulness it is in the agenda and the will of God that we will be fruitful in every area of our lives the subject of fruitfulness has been limited to Maybe a woman or a man ability to bring forth biological offsprings. Now it's part of it, but that's not the whole. That's not the whole of it. The commandment here is that I know God blessed them and God said to them, "Be fruitful." And this is to say, bring forth fruit in every department of your life. When Jesus came in John chapter 15 verse 1 he said I am the vine my father is the vine dresser if anyone abide in me same shall bring forth fruit if you look at verse 2 he said verse 2 of John chapter 15 he said he that bring forth, he that bring forth fruit my father will prune so that he might bring forth much fruit but he that will not bring forth fruit shall be cast away and be cast into fire now what is the meaning of that God has given to every man the potential to be fruitful in every department now the realm of fruitfulness now the realm of fruitfulness that Jesus was talking about chapter 15 is not actually limited to biological offspring alone Believe me sincerely. Believe me sincerely. Be fruitful in another word can mean reproduce. I'm going to give you like four definitions from scriptures and then we'll look at that and then we'll close. It means what? Reproduce. Many God has endowed every man and the woman to bring about biological offsprings. When we limit that to couples, but look at this: churches that have branches, what are they doing? They are reproducing. Businesses that have branches, what are they doing? They are reproducing. Is that no fruitfulness? So, one key meaning 
from fruitfulness is reproduction ability to bring forth biological upstreams or ability to give birth to more of the things that you are doing what I do is not limited to the things that are seen there are things that are yet unseen that actually bring forth the realm of fruitfulness I've never been there's some part of the countries I've never been to that the someone who preach here is bringing waves in that place yeah I joined between Christmas and New Year. There was an online meeting I was invited. It was around 1 a.m. I spoke in that meeting for I spoke in that meeting for about seven minutes. And I returned with about 200 euros. Now, when you convert that to Naira, that's that's not little. When time and space is what can measure your success you are not fruitful yeah it means you are not reproducing now reproduction in this sense simply means you might not even have to be in the place but your presence is well represented can i just say amen to that that is fruitfulness internet has made a whole lot of things easy if we can tap into the resources that is available to us now, when your success can be measured by the time and the space you occupy per time, you are not fruitful. What you are doing can be felt in every corner of the world. Your presence can be represented in every, in every corner of the world. So that is called what? Reproduction. Now, if you limit this kind of reproduction, like if you limit reproduction to biological options alone, that ability to bring forth normal biological children, husband and wife meet together and they bring forth. Now, you watch that when that reproduction is done, one thing is key. Your children begin to represent you everywhere. There are many of us now, we are not giving back to you in Abuja, but we are here. But the name of that family is still being heard. That's what the Bible was talking about in Psalm 127. That happy is the man that has his quiver full of death, for they shall stand with the enemy in the gate. There are many of us, our fathers, our mothers, the people who give back to us are falling from one region or one other region or to other region or to other region. But the name of that family is still being represented here. This is fruitfulness. This is what? Fruitfulness. Number two. Fruitfulness can mean growth. Fruitfulness can mean what? Anything that is fruitful grows. Yeah. Yeah. Now consider the tree, for instance. Okay, let me let's use a family. A, a, a man and a woman got married, and then God actually gave them reproduction. One thing after that reproduction, one thing is sure is what? Is growth. When my wife and I got married, God bless us with praise. No, we are no more. They will not call us. Uh, I, 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 they give us another name entirely. That is what? Growth. When Joshua came, that is another that is another level of growth. Now, fruitfulness brings about growth. When a man and a woman is fruitful, growth is inevitable. When a church is not limited in time and space and is represented in every corner, nations begin to flow into it. That is called what? Growth. It's a fruitful church and is what? And is growing. So fruitfulness. Is reproduction fruitfulness is what growth i like you to open up your mind and begin to check the aspect of your life when the lord said be fruitful what is god saying reproduce and enjoy growth number three fruitfulness simply means increase i like you to know that growth is different from what increase you can grow in number and not increase in status. How many of you agree with me? You can grow in branches and not increase in membership. How many of you agree with me? There are many persons who have 29 branches and the church is still less than 100. Only 2-3 persons are there. Somebody knows what I'm talking about here. You can grow and not increase. But the realm of fruitfulness that God is talking about is to reproduce, to grow and to increase. Amen. So when God said, "Be fruitful," 
heard the saying reproduce grow and what and increase they can have branches of businesses which we might call that mr a, um, Mr. AYZ has grown. He has bring forth fruits. Fruit in the sense that he has been able to bring forth fruit. And then he's already growing. But when the growth is not actually bringing forth expansion, it is not actually increasing. And it's not fully fruitful. I mean, you see, many people stop in the realm of bringing forth. And many people stop in the realm of reproduction when it comes to fruitfulness. They say, okay, once I give back to a child, that's all. No. There's need for growth. And in growth is increase. In growth is what? Increase. So when God is saying, be fruitful, God is saying, reproduce, grow, and in what? And increase. Number four. Number four is develop. Anything that you reproduce, that is growing, that is increasing, what? Develop. Let me use a family as an instance. Is somebody blessed already this tonight? Now, let, let, me, let me use a family for instance. A husband and a wife you reproduce a child or two. Now, they broken the realm of emptiness and dryness in their marriage. Do you agree with me? Now, and you can call that growth because a family of two has now become a family of four. Is that correct? And they begin to increase in status. Things become easy in the house. If Prince is 18 years old, my wife will not need to sweep all the ground. No, no. Uh, you will not need to maybe washing plates. All of that will have been taken. That's actually that has actually bring about a realm of increase, bring about a realm of ease, even in the family. And one increase come, development come. Development in this constant simply means we begin to deal good things in their number, quality things in their numbers. So fruitfulness is not limited this this is my point fruitfulness is not limited to ability to just do something uh, to see it happen no it's ability to reproduce ability to grow ability to increase ability to develop if God said be fruitful what is God saying? Reproduce, grow, increase, and what? Thank you, Barista. And develop. Now, this is the commandment God is saying. God is saying, I'm bringing everyone into a realm, into a dimension of fruitfulness. And in this dimension of fruitfulness, now watch, in this dimension of fruitfulness, We'll be able to reproduce our businesses begin to reproduce things begin to grow increase begin to come development begin to come that is fruitfulness so when we're praying tonight you say oh god launch me into a realm of fruitfulness i forbid dryness and emptiness what are you saying you are saying oh god make me reproduce make me grow make me increase make me develop For a better understanding, in case you do not pray, when Mama was leading us in prayer, I think it's time to really pray. The word now look at this in Genesis chapter 1 of verse 28 that we read. If you reproduce, you grow, you increase, you develop. That thing is easy to multiply. How many of you agree with multiplication? The realm of fruitfulness determines your realm. Of multiplication ability let me say the level of your fruitfulness 
determine the rate of multiplication. Can I say amen to that? So tonight I'm going to give you a few time. We are closing by seven. It's an hour service. I'm going to give you a few minutes to pray. Now you have a better understanding. I like you to look at that business. I like you to look at the every area of your life and command and speak to that area of your life. Be fruitful. Be what? And what are you saying? Reproduce, grow, increase, and develop. There are some families that has grown to a level of development that they have become an enigma. That have become a that have become a gate. Oh, something began to drop in my spirit now. Let's just pray and be sincere with yourself. Look at that business. Look at that career. Look at that life and speak to it. Be fruitful. Be what? Look at that business, be fruitful. There are a lot of things that I trust in God for the realm of the fruitfulness. I've seen some things in God. There's nobody who can say every area of your life is fruitful 100%. They are not sincere. And God is giving us another opportunity to speak to those areas. sincere with yourself. Look at that area of your life. 